Okay, good. So welcome to my talk uh, about how to connect an Alexa Amazon device to OpenStack. Um, bear with me, I'm by far no programmer. This is about 100 lines of Python code that I wrote up because I saw VMware doing that. And that just caught my interest that if VMware can do it, we can do it with, VMware, uh, with OpenStack as well. So that's how I started and that's why I wanted to see if I can connect uh, such a Alexa thing to OpenStack. Um, we will talk a bit about the prereqs, uh, the interaction with Alexa, um, how the application looks like, and then hopefully if the demo gods are, um, are cool with us, then we will do a short demo. So what do we need? We, we, we need one of those. So a Alexa dot will do, show, whatever, just a, any device. We need a server where our application is running. Of course, we need a cloud. Um, we need some uh, Python to do a bit of coding and, of course, AWS because there the Alexa skill kit is running. Um, to explain, what are we doing? How all these things are working together? So we need a user, somebody who is saying something and a echo device which is recording what, what I'm saying. So status report, for example. This is going to the skill kit, and from the skill kit, then it's going, it's being processed. So the first thing that you need to know is something that is called utterance, so something that you say. So you define a string like status report that is being noticed by Amazon. That utterance, if it is noticed, gets translated to an intent, and the intent is actually something that is being called and will trigger an action. So this calls the status intent EN because it's in English and I also did it in German. Um, this is going to my OTC control center app. So it's running on our lovely Open Telecom Cloud. Um, that's why everything is in Magenta. Um, from there, it's going further to the backend function and the backend function is actually talking to the cloud. Um, so it's doing a list servers on the cloud returning that server list back to the backend function. The backend function is talking to the control center app, delivering it back to the skill kit, but this time translated in what I actually want to return back. So from the pure list of servers that I got from the cloud, translated into a number of total active and stopped, and then into a sentence like the total number of VMs in your virtual or uh, in your tenant is this and this and that. And then this gets delivered back to the Echo device and uh, told to the user that initially asked the question. How does the application look like? So what do we need? We need a bit of Python. Um, so of course we need something to talk to the cloud. Python Shade is the, the uh, weapon of choice that you would take here. And then you would need something to interact with the Alexa device. And there is Flask, which is a very minimalistic framework. And then there's Flask Ask for the Alexa skill kit. So this brings all the functions that you need to interact with Alexa. Um, then the next thing you need is you need to authenticate to the cloud. If you have worked with uh, Python Shade before, there's a, a simple YAML file where you need to put your, your username, your password, your domain, uh, all the things that you need to interact with the cloud. So that gives you the basic interaction between Python and the cloud. Um, then you need an application backend. So the thing that is querying the cloud and delivering something back. So ask for a list of servers and translate the list of servers into uh, total running stopped. So this is happening here. So I'm just um, initializing the shade, um, getting um, a, a number of servers backed, um, doing some regular expressions, scrapping for active and shut off, and that gives me the total, the active and the, the stopped number of virtual machines. So no magic, just very simple operations we are doing here. And on the other hand, the application. So how to talk to Alexa. 
So you need to initialize the flask and you need to initialize the, the Alexa skill kit. So I named it control center. Um, it needs to have a name and then a, a welcome message. So that is the, the first part. And the second part is how to interact. So there is this VM count intent, um, which will then return this message, the total number of machines is this and this and that, or also a message to, to shut down. So we have something to say welcome, we have something to, to answer, and then also something to say goodbye. And that's it. That's all you need. In total, it's more or less 100 lines of code, and then you are good to go to interact between a cloud and Alexa. Um, talking about the Amazon side, of course, you need to, to do something also on, on the Alexa side. So you need a developer account on, on uh, amazondeveloper.com. Um, you need a, a application. And there you see you have an invocation name, so it's OTC Control Center. Um, you need an intent. That is what I said earlier, what is triggering the function. So here I gave several examples. So you can have one intent, and it will have the, the utterances here. So I can say report total VMs, count VMs, how many VMs are running inside my tenant. And to all these sentences, it will respond with that one intent that is then being called to, to actually do it. Um, I need an endpoint. And if you're doing it seriously, you are hosting it on your own, you have a certificate and, and SSL and all configured. If you just want to test it, there's a very cool, handy tool which is called ngrok. It will forward a local port on your machine uh, and give you an HTTP and HTTPS endpoint completely with certificates and everything being accepted by Amazon. So you can just use that, have your Python run on a local port and use ncroc to forward it to the internet uh, and be compliant with all the requirements that Amazon would have. And that's it. Now let's see if the demo gods are happy. So two things we need. One is, as I said, the, the Alexa skill. The other is the ncroc. Um, so one is this. And one is this, so and, and, and very important, um, I need support here. Um, no, that was the wrong one. I need an animal sacrifice. Without animal sacrifice, the demo gods are usually not, not happy with me. Um, so let's do this. Um, Alexa, start OTC control center. T, C, control center is online. How many VMs are running inside my tenant? The total number of virtual machines in your tenant is 52. At the moment, 39 are running and 13 are stopped. Shut down. O, T, C, control center shutting down. Well, that's it. Um, if there are any questions, just come over. Um, here is also a link, so you can find Open Telecom Cloud there. The QR code will take you to the GitHub repository. Um, there you can find some further information and um, also my email if you want to, to mail me. Um, just contact me there. Thanks for your time.